Let's hit up this cool spot I know. Drop me the directions. The Infernal Bar. Okay. <gasps> We're going. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Is this? Is that us? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Son of God! Oh! <laughs> oh my God! What is happening? <laughs> oh! I'll take those. Peace. All right. I feel it. Oh. Oh, he's going on his computer. What's going on? Oh. And this is the game. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Well, hey guys, what's up? D Live here. And I am here with a game called God for a Day. I got the demo version from a developer who I played their game Horror Plant like nine years ago on my old channel. Really liked it, and you guys really liked it if you remember that game, if you were here from my old channel. It was a really good game. So if this game is half as good as that, I think we'll have a good time. It's just a demo, but there's two endings. Uh, it starts off with, hey son, need a favor, ASAP. A war has broken out on Earth, and people are crying out for help. I've got some important matters to attend to. Can you fill in for me today? and take care of business in Hopewood. Show them the way. Much love, Dad. Okay, I will answer. Hey, Dad, no problem. All right, let's jump in. Welcome to Hopewood. Population 145,000, almost 146. That's a lot. All right, we're going to Mike's Garage, maybe? Or Michelle El Diablo. <laughs> is that, is that Machete? He's the guy with the machete from the movies. I think, right? I'm not gonna get every reference if there's references in this game. I hope I get as many as I can. Uh, I guess we have to touch his abs. Touch his abs. Um, criminal gang tattoos. Find out more clues about this person. Is it a, I feel like I remember that from school. Like the little things that helped me type, I think? I don't know what this is from, but I remember it. I remember it. All right, so I guess we just click on things around the area oh we're in the car honk the horn radio attention all residents of the city of hopewood okay we are currently on the lookout for escaped prisoner michelle oh michelle considered to be armed and dangerous and should not be approached under oh, any we circumstances. we approached him. If you have any information regarding Michelle's whereabouts, oh. please contact your local police station. All right, so he was in jail. He's an All escape prisoner. All kept confidential. I'm not sure what we're Thank doing you here for yet. for your cooperation. <laughs> Clues. I guess we're trying to figure out. Maybe we're judging them? Radio News announces Michelle El Diablo is wanted by the police. Okay, you're wanted. What are you wanted for, huh? What do you want? To, what do you have this wrench? Oh, wait, you can search for the rest of clues and find out more about this person or you can make a decision now. Bless or to hell. Oh, and dad is calling. Hey, dad. Remember, son, that all the choices you will make will have a tremendous impact on Hopewood, on the world and on yourself on Judgment Day. Be wise. Gotcha, dad. The trousers look like those of a prison uniform. OK, we, we, we've established that. Um, so, but oh, we already did this. We already did the car. TV? <gasps> I mean, yeah, we know he's wanted, but what is he wanted for? Is he wanted for stealing some bread? TV news announces Michelle El Diablo is wanted by the police. There's apparently one last thing for us to find. I haven't touched his thing. Ooh, there's his machete, his padded machete. <gasps> Okay, he didn't steal any bread. <laughs> he did something a lot worse. Is it Mike, the garage owner, kidnapped and locked in a closet? What are you doing? Are you, did I stop a murder? To hell. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, is he... Is he being taken out? Wait. This is... I don't think this is how it's supposed to go. We oh, took him out. <laughs> we sniped. 
<laughs> Must drink milk forever. He hates milk. <laughs> oh, Satan's a black cat. He's so cool. Look at him. So cute. <laughs> Look at the little angry face. Look at all the skulls. Okay, well, we banished him to hell and he has to drink milk. We took him out with a sniper. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Kidder, perfect social experience. Oh, I got followers. Um, The number of your followers depends on the decisions you will take. This number will determine how well or badly you will be received by the people on the, la on the day of last judgment. Okay. Hope, hope I got 2,000 followers from that. I only have 9,000, come on. Tragic end for escaped prisoner, Michelle El Diablo as police successfully tracked him down Deep appreciation to law enforcement. Um, God for a day is trending with meows. <laughs> Eternal light escape prisoners. Best album ever. Lock them up. Michelle tracked. Do I have any messages? No. Oh, can I meow? No, I want to meow. All right, I guess I re read it. I like this better than Twitter. Kidder. Uh, Hopetown, please. Oh, I got 100 followers. Update. Great news, Mike. The owner of Mike's Garage, previously reported missing, is found alive and well. Thank you all for the support and assistance. Okay. Thank God. Missing persons. Saint Maria Goretti like this. Is this a real saint? Uh, God does not exist. Skeptic Taylor. God does not exist at Hopewood. Atheist. Good without God. No religion. Religion is bullshit. Um... Do nothing, kill with a meteorite, kill with lightning. Wait, are we? I don't know what we should do. If we're going for a good run, we shouldn't kill him, right? I'm gonna do nothing. Cause just because he doesn't believe in God doesn't mean he dies. He could be a good person. I didn't get anything for that. I think I was supposed to kill him. <laughs> All right, we have Tommy Stefano, Dirk Darkovich, Bell Gibson, and Jazzy Soul. Uh, I'm just picking Bell Gibson. I don't know if I should know. Wait, is she selling bathwater? Love yourself more. I agree. All right, there's a key up here. I hope she's not selling bathwater. She's going to hell if she is. <laughs> Are you selling bathwater? Oh, we got a note. Um, uh, Association of Doctors and Pharmacists. Dear Bell Gibson, we are writing to you from the Association of Doctors and Pharmacists regarding your recent claim on social media that you have cured a disease using Whole Slim. We have reviewed your medical history and have found out you do not suffer from these diseases. Furthermore, we have discovered that Whole Slim contains substances that are potentially harmful to the liver. We urge you to contact us immediately to discuss this matter further. Your prompt response will be greatly appreciated. <gasps> so she's claiming that it's cured a disease that she doesn't even have and it's actually harmful like <laughs> is this this is she's an influencer isn't she oh no oh no um oh she's got her phone We're booting oh <laughs> it's a pear instead of an apple <laughs> place your finger to unlock um use her hand oh <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, uh, Belle Gibson, she's got 69,000 followers. Nice. Um, this food supplement has helped overcome illness and lose weight. And yes, it's murdering my liver. Uh, Belle Gibson is an influencer and claims on social media that her food supplement wholesome helped her cure her illness and lose weight. Uh, we are so proud to have been able to donate to charity once again. Together with Wholesome, we've made it possible to give back to those in need. Oh no, did she? Fake a donation to charity. Uh, Hope for Life charity. We have noticed that our name, Hope for Life, has been used in social network posts. We'd like to remind you that we have not received any donations from this campaign, and we kindly ask you to refrain from using our name in future posts. We would also appreciate if you could delete any existing posts that mention Hope for Life. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. <gasps> She's faking charity donations. All right. Oh. Oh, there's something. Oh, and she smokes. Not so healthy lifestyle. I mean, everyone has their things, right? I don't, I don't know if that's like a, a thing against her, but I mean, if she's pretending to be super healthy, it could be like, well, you're doing this stuff 
Oh, oh, is this what the key's for? <gasps> yes, key. Put it in there. What is she hiding? Oh, <gasps> of course, a pile of money and a secret safe. You're making money off of all these people. How dare you? And whole slim food supplements, cabinet. At least she has it, but is she actually using them? Well, I mean, come on. If I had to say she is lying to people and she's also making money off those people and she could cause them health issues. So yes, she's not getting blessed. Go to hell. <laughs> oh my God. We electrocuted her. <gasps> she's crying. Wait, zero followers forever. <laughs> That's probably the worst. That's the worst she could ever have. Uh, we are incredibly sad in the hear of the sudden. Oh, I lost followers because of that? Of the beloved influencer, Belle Gibson's. Our thoughts are with her family, friends, and fans. <gasps> I didn't know that was actually, I thought that was gonna be a positive thing. Come on. Satan liked this. <laughs> yes. Me and Satan are on the right page there. All right, uh, associations have done an incredible job at preventing wholesome food supplements from entering the marketplace after discovering harmful substances that could damage the liver. We are so glad that they've been successful in preventing victims from further harm. Ah, see, I did that. I did that. I did that. All right, so we had that one. There's one up here, it's called Jazzy Soul. Ooh, what's up Jazzy Soul? I don't know who this is referencing. You guys will have to let me know. All right, what you got? What's going on? Criminal record report. Uh, framed criminal record, six charges, two arrests, one conviction, flight risk. Okay. He's got a criminal record, doesn't mean he, you know, he dies. Oh wait. Don't tell me I can kill him straight up with the chandelier. Is that how he dies? That's what I'm assuming. Best rap out, he's got a Grammy award, okay. He's a good musician. I like his little thing. Oh, he's got a gun ready, machine gun, and a sarcophagus. I mean, you can have a gun, as long as he's not murdering people. An art toy, that's cool. I actually like that. Can I get that? That's pretty cool. Uh, Hopetown News, gang leader Little G Garcia survives assassination attempt. Miracle donor gives orphanage $1 million. A mysterious donor is given $1 million donation to a local orphanage, allowing the facility to continue its mission and providing a safe, nurturing environment for children. The donation sent via anonymous, anonymous wire from a bank in the Cayman Islands was made to the Children's Safe Harbor Orphanage in small town of Hopewood. The donation will provide much needed financial support to the orphanage, which was struggling to stay afloat after being hit hard by economic downturn. I'm assuming that he made the donation and he also tried to kill a gang leader. There's something else on here. Little G, 100,000. Okay. Photo with the caption, Little G money was found on the table. The person in the picture is crossed out. Okay. Key with a pretty key ring. Okay. Got some fruit down here. Art toy. Um, strange plant, strange species plant growing at home. Jazzy must be a botanical fan, of course. <laughs> Cleopatra sculpture. Something seems to be missing here. Oh, is it the necklace or the the jewel? Does it go in the top? Ah, what's in here? Um, summer 1991. Me and Mike in an orphanage. Oh, is this Mike who was kidnapped? The photo with the caption, Summer 1991, me and Mike in the orphanage was found in the safe. Did Jazzy grow up in an orphanage? Okay, he definitely made the donation. I mean, come on. And he's got some gold bars. Dude is smart with his money. Investment gold bars in the safe. Okay. I think the last thing is this gold record award. Um, He's just a good musician. So from what I've seen, I mean, I guess this might be hinting that he could have tried to murder the gang leader. But from what I see, he gets blessed. He made a donation to the orphanage. <laughs> Wait, get this out of here. Get these gold bars out of here. No, I wanna see him, he's smiling. I guess we can see him smile. All right, I don't know if that was good. We'll see. 
but I, I think it's good. Congrats to Jazzy Official for winning the best album ever award. Yay, we got followers. Fans got excited. All right, he's got Tupac like this. Oh, he's alive in this universe. Uh, Hope Town Police. Wait, whoa. We regret to inform you that the leader of the East Locos Street Gang has been murdered. Little G fans and family mourn. We hope that this tragedy will bring an end to the street gang wars in our city. <gasps> Satan like this. So I think he got him killed. And we lost followers because he died. But he's a street gang. Why did I lose followers over that? Um, we are so grateful and humbled by the... Humbled? Humbled by the incredible... I got so many followers on that. An honest donor has gifted $1 million donation to our orphanage. This donation will help us continue providing a safe and nurturing environment for our children. We are truly abreast. Yes, I allowed that to happen. I mean, it was... Oh, who killed little G? Lock him up. Best album ever. Jazzy, Eternal Light, God for a Day. I'm doing good. All right, we got two more. Dirk Darkovich. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I get this. This is breaking bad. Oh, he's got a suitcase. Oh god, I'm not gonna know the references. I know I know the pizza on the roof. It's a good show though. I've watched some of it. I need to sit down and actually watch the entire thing. Okay. So something's bubbling. Green smoke billows from the RV. Something strange is cooking inside. I wonder. Uh, oh, he's got a, a wallet. Dirk Darkovich. Um, lung cancer screening, pro department of radiology, male uh, lung nodules. He has lung cancer. We know that, we know that. Where's Jesse? Oh, he's got a key. Wait, is that for the suitcase? A key. Is it for the, oh, it's for the uh, bullet holes in the door. Yeah, we've seen that. Can we go in? Oh. <gasps> Full face cover mask. Okay. So far, he's making drugs. It's not, you know, the worst thing in the world. Okay. Oh, Satan's calling me. Yo, man, how about grabbing a drink? Hey, nah, not really my thing. Oh, come on. Don't be a buzzkill. All right. All right. Fine. Just one beer, but no funny business. Haha, -ha, deal. Let's, let's hit up this cool spot I know. Drop me the directions. The Infernal Bar. Okay. <gasps> We're going. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! No, no, no! 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 Oh no! We're having milk with a lime? Oh, is that the cat? The cat's having the milk with the lime. The bartenders, no! <gasps> That's a cool drink for the cat. At least he's down there, but I mean, why did he have to be our bartender? Get him out of here. He's the worst. Hmm. Is he distracting me? Just water. Okay. <laughs> We're just chilling. Oh, he made it wine. Oh my God. Is it wine? Nah, this one's non alcoholic. Okay. Yo, son of God, let me holla at you for a sec. I know you're about to pass that judgment on Walton, but hear me out. I gotta say, I think he's a good person, man. Look, Satan, I've heard you out, but I can't make any promises here. My duty is to ensure justice is served. Walton's case will be thoroughly reviewed, and I'll take your perspective into consideration. Exactly. Come on, you gotta see it from my side. I know I ain't exactly an angel, but I can recognize when someone's got a good heart. Okay. You've made your point, Satan, and I respect your perspective. Your voice has been heard, but the final judgment lies in my hands. Well, I hear you loud and clear. I guess it's time for me to skedaddle, meow, until we meet again, my friend. And with that, Satan bids farewell, leaving the Son of God deep in thought. Life is full of unexpected encounters, isn't it? All right, so I guess we, um... Wait, I guess this suitcase is going to be 666, right? I thought it was going to be 666 because it was like three digits. Let's see. No? Oh, no. I actually don't know the code. I don't know if I need to know. Was it in his wallet? Probably not. Um, I know something's in the suitcase. It's not 666 unless was it? I thought it would be 666 because we talked to Satan. 
Oh God, is this a reference? I'm not gonna know. No? There's gotta be something. What you got, sir? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, wait. Best teacher award. Okay, he was a good teacher. For being best teacher of the year. Okay, well, we got something. Five, three, six. Oh, I thought it was, I was about to say, if his suitcase lock is, oh, we got it. Oh, money. Okay. Lab report, student chemistry homework, and a suitcase with a lock. All right, so we haven't seen anything bad. He's a teacher. He's got a lot of money. He's smiling. I don't see anything bad here other than he makes drugs. And we don't even know if he's making drugs. We don't know. But bless him. We don't know! Divine cure for cancer. <gasps> oh, wow. There you go. You don't got cancer anymore. I thought it, I, by blessing him, he created it. <laughs> Not me just doing it. A miracle. A chemistry teacher contracted stage four lung cancer, but he's back and better than ever. His wife, two kids, and a whole school community are so relieved and thankful for his recovery. Addiction crisis. Oh, no. Breaking news. Synthetic substances have become a serious... Oh, pandemic in our town. Let's work together to combat this dangerous trend and keep our community safe. Community is disappointed with God. Satan liked this. Satan tricked me. Shouldn't have listened. All right. We no longer listen. Tommy Stefano. He's a junk boss. Okay. I'm assuming... Oh, <laughs> Trump. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm assuming he's a mob boss. Uh, we have a note. Let's see what we got here. Uh, dear Mr. Stefano, I want to express my sincere gratitude for employing my husband at your company. It has made significant positive impact on our lives. Additionally, I wanted to kindly inquire if there's any possibility of reducing the fees for rubbish removal services. They have become quite burdensome for our family financially. Thank you for your understanding and consideration. Bella Bloober Group. All right complaints about high prices are you being stingy what you got in here photo with wife and son okay so tommy is a family man but he's still jacking up the prices what's in your suitcase <gasps> prozac okay some pills a gun and some money all right what's going on here what's going oh satan's calling i can't trust you Hey, dude. Oh, my God. This is so funny. What is he? <gasps> oh, he gave me a virus. <laughs> Hot chicks near you. Your sister's took the viruses. Alert. Your computer is self-destruct. Uh, congratulations. You're 3,000. Being poor sucks. Millionaire challenge. How dare you, Satan? <laughs> He's trying to distract me again. You will not distract me. Company carries out city garbage removal. Oh, he's got an award. Award for philanthropy. Okay. So he philanthropy. I can't say that word. <laughs> um, so he he gives some money back. He's friends with Mayor Mickey Drumpf. <laughs> Drumpf. A picture of Tommy with the mayor on the wall. They're apparently friends. Okay. Italy map. What else you got? He's from Italy. Ooh, we got some drawers. <gasps> He's a fan of The Godfather, a book about the mafia. Oh, to my amazing wife, happy anniversary. It's so nice. Okay. I mean, I think he's a mob boss. Um, He's got cameras in here too. Oh wait, uh, why are there so many surveillance cameras in an ordinary office? Ah, uh, yeah. What's on his computer? Hey, Tommy, about the city's garbage collection contract. It's just like we talked. I get 70% and you get 30%. See you at the yacht party. Yeah. You're not going to see him at the yacht party. Nope. Nope. We regret to inform you that the Federal Bureau of Investigation has frozen your accounts based on allegations of criminal activity. This action is part of your ongoing investigation. Your cooperation is essential. Um, further details will be provided in due course. Sincerely, FBI. Oh, he's angry. Wait. Did he have a heart attack? <laughs> Must eat Hawaiian pizza forever. He hates it. Oh my God. 
We regret to inform you that Tommy Stefano, previously charged with criminal activity, has been found deceased. Our thoughts are with his wife and daughter during this difficult time. I've read it. Satan liked this. Wait, was I not supposed to do that? Look, see, yeah, I was supposed to do that. Prices for rubbish collection hope would have dropped. Residents shocked by a sudden increase in cost. Or decrease in cost, right? That was great. That was right. City of Life Hopewood is shaped by the choices you make. Let's take a look. Hope Hopewood garbage collection is frequent and expensive. Junk Boss does a great job. Uh, the Wild Lion Street Game rules the streets. Their tags are everywhere. Oh, so we were supposed to kill Jazzy Saul or b go send him to hell. Oh, that's not good. And we allow drugs. Uh, Fancy Valley, Fancy Valley High School. A uh, dealer at Fancy Valley High School sells illegal substances to students. Oh, I should have listened to Satan. He got me. Dirk Darkovich, a great teacher, teaches chemistry. All right, well, he's a great teacher. He's doing a good job. Oh my God. Women gather outside the villa of influencer Belle Gibson. She was literally killing people to mourn her death. She literally was murdering people. Life is going on as usual, thanks to the police tracking down escaped prisoner El Diablo. Okay, that was positive. Garage owner Mike is freed from his kidnapper and continues working. Okay. Achievement at Hopewood, clean city. Okay, so I, I got the clean city achievements and that's it. Um, apparition of the last judgment day depends on the number of followers. <gasps> Oh no, did I do good? Oh, son of God. I'm here in my, my fancy car. <laughs> Are people happy to see me? Oh, I got some bunny slippers. <laughs> Yay, I think people are happy. Yes. Yes, love cutters are all son of God. He is the truth. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Am I good, right? I'm a I'm person of the year. Okay, I did good enough. I thought we were gonna get so bad. Oh, we are superstars. Thanks for playing. Remember, every time you replay the game, make different decisions. They all have a different impact on Hopewood City, as well as completely different app apparition of the last judgment day you get all the achievements okay oh my god there's so many okay uh there's only three others we need to get a negative one so maybe we purposely do negative stuff for this one to get the negative ending all right let's do it i'm so sorry mike i gotta let you i don't know what's gonna happen to you but we're blessing him we gave him a new identity, Brandon Pitt. Oh no. Alert, escape prisoner not found yet. Help us find Michelle El Diablo. We lost 2,000 followers. Contact Hopetown Police Department. Uh, update, great news, Mike. The owner of Mike's Garage previously reported missing is found alive and well. <gasps> so he didn't kill him. He didn't kill him, okay. Oh, wow. I wonder what will happen. Oh, we got to murder him. Kill him with lightning. <laughs> Wait, did nothing happen? All right. We're sending him to hell. Oh, he got struck by lightning too. Oh, wait, wait. How, why is he in hell? <laughs> I'm so confused why he got in hell. I didn't send him to hell. <gasps> Check bad students chemistry homework forever. Oof. So sad to hear about our beloved chemistry teacher. Satan still liked that. Dirk Darkovich just passed away after a long battle with stage four cancer. Oh my goodness. Our high school community is mourning along with his wife and two children. Our thoughts and prayers are with them during this difficult time. We are celebrating a major milestone in our city today. After years of hard work from our community, we have overcome the chemical substance abuse crisis. We are so proud of the commitment and dedication of our partners in government, healthcare, education, business, community, organizations, happy community. All right, so that helped out a lot. All right, I'm blessing the social media influencer. I don't think this is the right decision.
Wait, I got 10,000 new followers because of that? Oh, she got 10,000 new followers because of it. <gasps> I wanted those followers. I got 39 for gaining 10,000 new followers. Keep up the great work. Uh, followers are happy. We are deeply concerned by the reports. It was good for me to kill her. I knew it. We are deeply concerned by the reports of a series of liver problems linked to the supplement Whole Slim. We urge all patients taking this supplement to seek medical help immediately and visit their local hospital for further management. We are monitoring the situation closely and will provide more information as it becomes available. The community does not believe in God anymore. <gasps> the hospital staff, patients, and community are praying to God for the recovery of those affected by the whole slim related health crisis. But I got followers from that? Wait, what? All right, we got to send them to hell. <laughs> we didn't do that last time. Oh! I knew we were gonna kill him with the chandelier. All right, what's what's the thing? Worst rapper ever award. Oof. He goes from being the best to the worst. Rep, rest in peace, Jazzy Soul, a two, true pioneer of the hip hop culture. His music will live on forever in our hearts. Our thoughts are with his family. Uh, as you may know, I was assassinated a few days ago. I think it's the work of Jazzy Soul. <gasps> surprise, surprise, he himself died today. Ha ha, go to hell, Jazzy. Ha ha. <gasps> He did do it. What if I click one of these? <gasps> Guardian Angel antivirus found threats. <laughs> I was wondering if I actually clicked it, what would happen? That's funny. All right. Apparently, we're supposed to. We're gonna bless him. It's gonna be the opposite of what we did. I, I more just want to see what happens when I do the opposite and hope that we get the uh, the negative ending. We regret to inform you that Frank Costello has passed away. With his absence, there's a strong possibility that you may be announced as the new godfather. I wanted to share this news and offer my support during this transition. Take care and stay safe. <gasps> he got promoted to the godfather. He's smiling. Prices for rubbish collection or hope would have spiked. Residents shocked by the sudden increase in costs. Judas like this. Judas. Um, after the demise of Frank Costello, our sources confirmed that the Mafia boss has selected a new godfather. Our dedication, dedicated law enforcement team remains vigilant to ensure public safety and counter any criminal activities. All right, let's see. I'm pretty sure Hopewood has gone down the tubes with that. Oh, and Hopewood residence rubbish is badly collected. The streets have turned into a garbage dump. The corrupt junk boss is not doing his job. The Wild Lion Street Gang is at war with another gang. Violence on the streets of Hopewood. <gasps> oh no. So they're, they're actually fight. Oh my God. No. Fancy Valley High School. Well, at least they're not having, life goes on at usual at Fancy Valley High School. At least there's not drugs being offered outside. So we're supposed to let Jazzy Soul live. That's confirmed. Like, uh, but in the chemistry class, some students are mourning their teacher. Uh, women gather outside the villa of influencer Belle Gibson. Oh, they're canceling her. They know to protest against the food supplement, Whole Slim. She is promoting, it up says the Whole Slim supplement. Uh, streets are empty. People are afraid to go out because escape prisoner El Diablo has not been found yet. Meanwhile, Diablo flees the country to start a new life. Good luck. <laughs> Bye, Diablo Diablo. Amnesty award. Nice. All to hell. Okay. How did we? Oh, no. We got a different ending. Oh. Wait, what's happening? Wait, is that us? Oh. Wait, am I being taken out? Wait, oh, I'm scanning. Wait, what? The corral open. Scan mode. What is happening? Am I the Terminator? Why am I naked? <laughs> oh, they're angry with me. Oh. <gasps> They threw me. No respect. I mean, I did turn their city into a pretty bad place. Other than the high school. 
terminated. <gasps> oh no. All right, well, there we go. That's the other ending. Kill him with meteorite. <laughs> this is the only thing I didn't do. <laughs> but you don't get anything for it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, go ahead and uh, go check out the game Sun or God for a Day. We are Son of God, but God for a Day. Go check it out on Steam when it comes out. I think it comes out March 26th as a demo. Um, you should go check it out. If you enjoy this, you can play along with me and see what you get and what you can do. Maybe it'll be a little bit different. Uh, thank you guys for coming by and watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and a comment down below if you did, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.